Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing the latest unboxing for Star Wars Shatterpoint and looking at the Sabotage Showdown mission pack uh, that came out at the start of November. Um, so this is adding uh, a new mission and then nine new struggles to the game. So it's a mix up from the, uh, from the base core game. So we've got the um, box here. So as with all of the unboxings we've got uh, we know that we're going to get it in English, French, German, Polish, and Spanish. Um, so I have already been through this. I have taken a look and removed all of the foreign language cards. Uh, but let's have a little look at what we're getting in the box. And more importantly, how the missions, I think, compare to the corset missions. So we have got uh, so three things uh, all together and then an empty box. Um, as always, we've got a poster and sort of the credits thing. So very cool, cool poster. I think this is the one they shared on the uh, stream or like the announcement for the mission pack with Hondo. Uh, looking very cool there. Um, and then we've got, uh, so we've got the mission. So um, as I said, uh, come in five different languages. So I've already been through and taken, taken out all of the ones that are for Foreign language so these leave with the English ones in here and we've got some tokens as well so let's have a look at the tokens first of all so nothing too crazy I think uh, coming out of here uh, we've just got an additional six damage tokens uh, just the one damage that you get in the core set and then we've got the uh, priority indicators which are, I really like these because the amount of times that I think uh, me and my friends and the people I'm playing with um, have to work out if we rolled the failure, which uh, objective that alludes to. Um, and then we've got some uh, looking light side, dark side, double sided sort of token markers there as well. So don't know what they're for. So if anyone does know, feel free to leave a message down in the comments. But yeah, nothing too cool. But these three I, I do really like. And then let's have a look at the mission itself. So sabotage showdown so we've got one two the ones we'll look at all these uh individually in in more depth the twos and the threes as well but we start with okay so we're looking at sabotage showdown here so this says uh, after a player chooses an allied unit to activate with a shatter point order card the chosen unit gains the tactic ability printed on the active struggle card until the end of the turn so if we look at these bits here, so the number ones, uh, they've all got a different tactic ability on, which is very cool. So that's probably really going to change who you're playing with uh, and who you're activating with Shatterpoint cards as well. And then during the second and third struggles, at the start of each of their turns, players roll one defense die and consult the mission map to mark the corresponding active objective token with a priority objective token. A player that controls the active objective marker with a priority Objective token moves the struggle one additional space towards our momentum uh, and then remove it at the end of each turn. So that part is exactly the same as in shifting priorities. Uh, so um, I think the only difference is uh, this one specifically states you just remove them, uh, whereas this one just states it, le it leaves on there the entire time. So uh, that second sort of paragraph on Sabotage Radar and the top paragraph on shifting priorities is exactly the same we've just got that different top one there for sabotage showdown and obviously we've got a completely different map so uh, as you can see uh, only eight objectives on this map uh, so we've got two along this back wall three there along the middle um, in the i think they're the same three places as they are for shifting priorities and then two along this back wall as well so uh, we'll have a look at what the missions are going to look like but you're probably going to have a lot more of a uh, coordinated central deployment in Sabotage Showdown than you will do in Shifting Priorities where potentially you want to be a little bit more spread out. But that is Sabotage Showdown the mission. So let's have a look at some of the different struggles. Okay, so we've got the first uh, mission here, or the first struggle for each uh, for the Sabotage Showdown. So uh, first thing that's really interesting is the layout of objectives is exactly the same. So six objectives uh, in these ones, and the layout is completely identical 
compared to the first mission where uh, everything had five, so five on the shifting priorities mission. Uh, these have got six objectives, so potentially uh, increasing the ability for a bit of faster gameplay. And then we've also got these tactic abilities at the bottom of the cards uh, that are going to be crucial to everyone. So obviously, reminder, this is only if you activate with a shatter point card uh, that you get to use this. But we've got the first one, set the charges. So uh, the tactic is press forward. At the start of this unit's activation, each character in this unit may dash, which is very, very cool. Uh, we've got stick to the plan for uh, on shut down the alarm. So at the start of this unit's activation, refresh force, uh, which is cool if you've got one of those characters that's not bringing as much force or, or is quite a force heavy uh, spender. And then secure the exits where we've got a regroup. So at the start of this unit, unit's activation, it may remove two damage or one condition from itself. Just kick the table. So three, um, three very different tactic abilities uh, that you're probably going to want to use in completely different ways, but also uh, might completely change who you then decide to activate with those shatter point cards. So if you want to do set the charges, you might be more inclined to use press forward on a, a unit that's got more than one character, and so that they can benefit. Each of them can benefit from that dash. Um, and then you know, with regroup, you might want to go. Actually, that that unit's. Not, not close to death, it might even be the only unit that has taken damage for you, um, in which case you're potentially going to want to do that uh, to remove some damage or a condition from yourself. But that is the first struggle. So on to the second struggle. So struggle two, we've got, we need more time. Didn't expect a welcome party and they're jamming our comms. Um, and interestingly, so this is... Uh, Something I've also just noticed is that these have the exact same abilities. So press forward, stick to the plan, and regroup as well. So uh, those are identical. So I haven't looked at the third ones in depth, but uh, they are also the exact same three. So uh, a little bit of a shame that there's not more or different tactic abilities, but three um, is obviously quite quite wonderful and gives a lot of flavor. Uh, so here, and we've got these... Um, these really awkward, awkward looking shapes. So we've got, we need more time with the press forward so each character in the unit can dash uh, with this kind of straight line combo. So three objectives um, either leans more towards the left hand side of the board or the right hand side of the board and then that center objective. Didn't expect a welcome party is then very similar to we need more time although it is literally a straight line. So a line going from the left to the right or the right to the left. And then the jamming our comms is the one that's uh, a bit more wild, so you've got obviously the two objectives very close to one another on both sides, and then the one that's a little bit more uh, out of out of sync. So, yeah, I think we need more time and didn't expect a welcome party. You're probably going to see a lot more fighting over. Um, they're jamming our comms. This back objective might be quite secure by the person uh, who controls that, um, and that is those three. On the third struggle, we have got get to the hangar bay find the escape tunnel and signal the transport. So uh, get hang about nice and simple, straight line, and then find the escape tunnel and signal the transport. Two completely opposite, uh, polar opposites of one another. So objective on the far left or the far right. And then the two objectives uh, in closer to both teams' deployment zones with that additional, uh, yeah, with the additional side there. So yeah, that is the, um, the three different struggles that come in Shatterpoint uh, Sabotage Showdown. I almost called it Shatterpoint Showdown. Very different. Um, I think this uh, Sabotage Showdown is really going to talk a lot more about movement. Um, but then we'll look at the second. So the second struggle. So I think there's going to be a real bit around how this... Uh, how what you you then choose to take into your to your games really affects it. So um, again, three objectives here um, compared to the three that come in sabotage showdown. Uh, so we can see that although these ones are generally probably a bit more spread out um, with the eight objectives and probably a lot more favourable to certain people. So 
Uh, this one particularly favourable if you're uh, at this this deployment zone, for example, on this bottom half. And um, whereas these are seem a little bit more open and probably a bit more enticing for both players to go after the objectives. And then the third and final struggle, uh, shifting priorities here again on the left hand side. And then the new ones get to the hangar bay, find the tip on. Secure the trans signal the transport. So uh, yeah, again, again, these look a little bit more spread out. Um, whereas these ones seem a little bit more closer. Obviously you've got two objectives here, very close, very close. And obviously this is just a straight line. So this get to the hangar bay and the security network is uh, obviously exactly the same thing. Um, I think the very, uh, another very interesting thing is you'll notice that uh, these have only got one map on. So there isn't that option like there is with, like there is with the uh, shifting priorities uh, to pick and choose an object, uh, pick and choose the map that you want to play or the map that most benefits you. Uh, so in this one, you're kind of, you are stuck with, uh, particularly for struggles uh, three even, sorry. Um, you are just, you are dealing with that one. Um, so obviously on struggle two, you've still got the option of the two maps, but on struggle three, you are playing that map regardless of whatever you want. So yes, uh, also a bonus incentive to get there uh, quickly as possible and win the first two struggles um, without any delay. So that was the unboxing for the Star Wars Shatterpoint Sabotage Showdown Mission Pack. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Check out more of the content if you uh, like like the Shatterpoint videos and like Shatterpoint content. Uh, leave me some comments down below. Um, do you think this is better than shifting priorities? Has it added more to your games? Anything like that. And then we'll see you in the next video.